They were described one time as Legos on steroids. Mm -hmm. That's a good way to describe the creations in Susan Van Houten's robotics class. But it's more than just stacking blocks. Her students are designing functional devices and the circuitry inside that makes them move. All these wires plug into this. David Wallum and Max Albrechtson are two of Ms. Van Houten's brightest students. They work as a team to build an all-terrain vehicle and a freight elevator. David handles the software, engineering the electrical circuits that control the moving parts. It's a complicated web of wires, but David has it down. If it doesn't sense anything, it will go to the next, go to the next, or circle back around. Meanwhile, Max is building the structure and making sure all of the electronic and magnetic pieces are in the right place. In order to stop, it needs to sense the read switch. Then they plug everything in, connecting Max's hardware to David's software. And with the push of a button, their elevator is ready to go. Mrs. Van Houten believes that this kind of project-based work encourages children to take control of their own learning. Get in there, touch it, feel it, do it. Make it real. If it's not real, if, it, if they're just reading it out of a book, it's not real. Her students agree. It helps to be able to do stuff because then I understand it better by doing stuff with my hand instead of just uh, like lecturing. Building robots is fun, sure. But it also teaches children critical thinking and problem-solving skills and helps them overcome fears about science and math. Then they really realize, hey, I can do this. This is something that is a possibility for my future. For In the Know, I'm Nick Vole.